All right, we've got our receiver, and we're plugged into the uh, speed control that's actually built into the receiver. We've plugged the motor back in, and we'll give just a little quick demonstration on the motor uh, being able to run this wheel. And the uh, there's there's actually a little, <laughs> for lack of a better term, kind of a little nub on the end of the uh, main rotor shaft that fit perfectly into this uh, quarter inch opening on the wheel. I've got another wheel here. You can actually see that there's a, uh, a spline and it's actually the same number of of legs on this bottom gear. So um, the attachment for that's going to actually be very easy. But let's let's run this up real quick. We've got our throttle control left over from the helicopter. So you can see You can see and hear that running, and uh, that's just kind of little, it's not even quarter throttle there. Go ahead and run it up. So yeah, I mean, the, the wheel obviously is not particularly precision balanced. These are wheels for... Uh, these are surplus wheels for uh, baby strollers, so I don't have high expectations for them to be uh, really, really precise, but uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do the job for what we're doing here. So, you know, some other little pieces laying around. This is a radio control car shock that we're going to use up front. And uh, speaking of up front, I do have over here my swing arm assemblies, which you can see have, you know, uh, have free movement in all the axes that they need in order to do what I'm going to need them to do. Have both of those. These will obviously get trimmed up, will end up being a lot shorter, um, and will be mated in one way or another to this cutout. I did have them connected, but uh, in order to get the wheel centered in the rear, um, that's going to be a little bit more complicated. Still working that out, but you get some of the idea. Um, the swing arms will get shortened, but uh, you know, basically, when it's all said and done, I'll have a really sort of ugly MythBuster style, uh, fully functioning prototype.